You've been chasing after dreams Thinking that they'll reach And you think things like this happen to everyone I don't think they do. Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video. Uh, today we're going to go through some of the images that I've taken on a photo shoot recently. I was using the Panasonic um, camera for this shoot. Actually, I was using both cameras, Panasonic S1 and also the Sony a7 III. So as you can see on my screen here, uh, these are some of the images that I took. I was shooting natural light as usual because you know i love to shoot natural light um the idea was her idea with the basket and the mangoes on the hat however the basket and the hat um they're mine <laughs> so yeah so i found a location and i said you know what yes we're gonna do the shoot so um yeah i was shooting natural light as i said before and these are some of the images we took a lot of shots as you can see here it says i think it's about 335 shots we took yes and these are some other shots i really wanted to do a behind the scene but what happened is that the gopro battery wasn't charged and i thought it was and yeah so i didn't do a behind the scene and then again i didn't have a wide lens for me to do uh the behind the scene using the second camera yeah but these are some other shots that we did this is the Panasonic camera. I think I want to do one of the shots with the Panasonic um, camera. I was using a 50 millimeter um, lens for the Panasonic. That's the only lens I have. It's the 50 millimeter Canon lens. All right. This is actually the Panasonic, as you can see there. These are also the Panasonic cameras. You can see up here, it says P1. Yeah, whatever the name of the file is. So those are the Panasonic and the ones that says A7, those are the, or you can look at the extension as well. So what I need to do now, I'm sorry. What I need to do now is to find one of these images that I'd like to edit and do some editing right now. So I'm going through pretty fast because I don't want the image, the video to be a long video. So I'm going through it pretty fast. So yeah, these are some of my favorite shots that were done on the um, A7 III. Yeah, these, if you realize the color changes, well, the settings were different actually. All right, these some of the shots. yeah so because i did not do a behind the scene i think that i should just show you guys like all the images <laughs> that i took on the shoot and i'm going through them pretty fast <laughs> uh, yeah i think this one is her favorite shot one thing i don't like with this image though um her hand is covering a part of the horse mouth and nose but she loved that shot so i'm gonna edit that one for her but i'm not gonna edit it in this video yeah so no i think i need to find you know what i might just edit that one in this video let me see um yeah i think this one i could edit this one i'm gonna control e and um brings it over to photoshop and it's not 100% sharp, but I mean, it's a good image either way. So it's not going to be printed or anything. So I'm going to create a copy. All right. And then I'm just going to crop the image as usual. So it's going to be the four to five ratio for the crop. And I'm just going to move this down to about right there. Good. Um, so now I'm just going to clean the I'm going to press J on the keyboard for the, um, what's this tool called again? Patch tool. And I'm just going to remove some of the blemishes from the model's skin. Or pimples, anything that it's distracting, I'm just going to remove that. I 
don't think I have a lot to move. All I'm doing is just using the patch tool to remove the blemishes from the skin. So this was shot with the Sony A7 III as you can see here. And that's my, I was using the 85mm lens, the Sauvignon lens. And yeah, so let me go back to the photo. So I'm just going to remove some more of these blemishes from the skin. Real quick. back for this one I'm just gonna bring this up instead all right that looks good I don't think I need to do anything else Yeah, so that is it. This is a birthmark, so I'm not gonna remove that. Normally, I don't like when models are wearing any jewelry because sometimes, well, necklace, because sometimes um, it may not be in the center like this because I'd love to, if it was in the center. Um, I wonder if I should remove it. Let me try to remove it and see what it looks like. That's too wide. Yeah, so we have no distraction because I don't like when, you know, it's not in the center and stuff like that. I always have them take off their watches or bracelet or anything that, you know, that may not stay uh, at a certain place where it should be. Yeah, so. That looks good. We have some loose here, right here, that we need to remove as well. All right, that looks good. All right, so what I'm going to do now is to color the image. So I'm going to Control J to create a duplicate, then Control Shift um, A for camera raw, and then I'm going to press Auto. Let's look at the before and after while I'm doing this. So, auto. Then I'm going to come to, well, I'm going to go to the collaboration option. Then I'm going to go to the, um, what's this called again? Primary color. The primary blue. I'm just going to put some blue there. Good. I'm going to go back over to the uh, basic and I'm just going to play with the dehaze a little bit. Just like that. Normally, I would do the color grading after I do the frequency separation, but I felt like just doing the color now. All right. So I'm going to come to HSL. And then under the hue, I'm going to play with the greens a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm going to let it look. I'm going to have a brownish color. All right, I think I'm good with that for now. I might still do some more coloring. So now I'm going to do um, frequency separation. Then I'm going to press M on the keyboard for the mixer brush. That is my shortcut. The mixer brush is going to be M. You can hold on and control and, well, mixer brush is going to be B. So you can hold on and shift and B and it will change um, 
the brushes. So you want your mixer brush to look like let me, this. This is your mixer brush. Ensure that your mixer brush is at 2% and you clear um, the color. If there's a color here, you clear it, all right? So on the low layer, I'm now going to zoom this up. And I'm going to start with her thigh. I'm going to get this a little bit bigger by using the bracket on the keyboard. And I'm just going to brush just up and down. You have to be careful because you don't want to mix outside of the um, subject. When you're mixing, you want to ensure that you mix the dark area separated from the highlighted area. You don't want to mix them. So all I'm doing is mixing and if you pay attention all I'm doing is just mixing um, the light area and the dark area and that's it so I'm gonna go to her arm come over to her tummy and then I'm gonna do her chest I'm gonna do her arm again good that's all I'm doing just mixing that's how easy it is I'm done mixing the nose bridge. So basically, mixing the face is just blending the skin. You know. And when you're doing the mixing, it will flatten the image. So you have to be careful that you don't mix too much. Alright, so let's look at the before and after for the mixing so far. Let me zoom this up to about right there. So, before, after. All right, so right here, it seems as if it's a little bit dark right there. Let me see if I can mix it out a little bit more. Or I may have to just use dodge and burning to fix right there. All right, so I'm gonna go on to the dodge and burning real quick. So I'm gonna click dodge and burn. I'm going to start with the dodge, which is the highlighted area. I'm going to press B on the keyboard for the brush. Ensure that your flow is at 1%. Just going to brush the highlighted area. Ensure that when you're painting on black, your foreground is white. If your image is zoomed up and you want to like move a certain part of the image and you don't want to like zoom out you can hold on and shift not shift the space bar and you could move the image all right it's gonna come to her arm and do some highlighting as well under the eye and I, I don't think I need to do much highlighting up there I'm gonna get the wait I think I want to fix here a little bit more doesn't look even at all to me 
All right, that looks good. I'm going to go for the burn now and see if there's anything I could do. Maybe I could burn right here a little bit and right here. Don't want to add too much. Yeah, I think I'm done. I don't think I need to do anything else. All right. Good. So I'm going to Control Alt Shift E to create a new layer. Control J to create a duplicate. Control Shift A for camera raw again. I'm just going to press Auto and see what it looks like again. Okay, so Auto kind of pump some vibrancy in the image a little bit more. So let's look at it before and after. So this is the before you see it look it looks dull and now it looks a little bit more vibrant. So that's what Auto did. What I could do as well, I could just put a little um clarity in it clarity sorry um yeah that's it not gonna do anything else all right good i'm going to create another frequency separation um action i'm going to come down here to the background layer click frequency separation and then i'm going to move it to the top i could use Control shift right bracket bring it to the top and then i'm going to blend out the foot a little bit more the thigh a little bit more all right, wait, M for the brush, for the mixer brush. Kind of want to blend it out a little bit more. All right, I think I like that. Um, let me try something because I don't think I like what's happening here. Let me go back a little bit. <laughs> all right i think i am okay with what was, what's happening there so i'm going to go back to the um what i call it again i'm going to create a new layer and i'm going to go back to camera again and see if i could take out some of the highlights a little bit so and then i'm going to press ok so i took out some of the highlights but i don't want it to be the entire image so i'm going to hold on and alt and press the mask tool down here and then I'm going to press B for the brush, change my flow to about, well, 100%. And then I'm going to get my brush bigger. I'm going to paint back. Wait. I'm going to paint the area where I'd like to get rid of some of the um, highlights. So that's good. So that was before, that's the after. Good. So the next step now, I think I want to add some blue in the shadows as usual because I always add blue in my shadow, shadows. And then I'm going to come here to the color lookup and I'm going to lower the opacity to about 11. And then I'm going to do, there's one more thing I want to do as well. I think I want to add a gradient. So I'm going to create a new layer. Let me see, I'm going to right click on this and go to let me see if I can add a gradient. Um, let me see what options I have. So let me see basic. I want to add something. Um, let me see. Neutral. I think I like this. If it's not neutral, I'm going to try. Let me try pink. So basically, I'm just playing around with colors right now. I'm going to go to the neutral. I'm going to use the brown, or whatever color this is. I'm going to press OK. Then I'm going to change this from hard light to about, so let me see, soft light maybe. I don't like what's happening for soft light. Let me just change this. I think I can go with um, the color dodge. Press OK. Let me see what it looks like before. So that's the before. That's the after. What I could do now is to add some contrast to the image. So I'm going to add 5. Alright, let's look to see what the contrast did. Uh, it's a subtle change. Nothing too much. Let me bring this up a little bit higher. I'm going to do 15. Perfect. 
So I'm going to save this. So it will save in um, Lightroom automatically. So I'm going to come over in Lightroom and see if I can do some more color adjustments. So I'm going to come to the develop section here. And then I'm going to come here to the radial filter. I'm just going to create a filter here. See what I could get out of this. I am going to, let me see, invert. Invert is for inside and outside. All right, so I'm going to um, bring this here. Good. I'm going to do some dehaze a little bit, just a little bit, like nine. Then I'm going to bring up the temperature a little bit. So I'm just playing with colors, actually. That's all I'm doing right now and um shadows I'll bring the shadows in and then i'm going to do contrast so i'm just making the adjustment outside of the image basically so yeah so that's it so that's the before and that's the after let me bring it over back in photoshop so you can see the before and after in photoshop um so i'm gonna create a new copy a duplicate bring this back up then click on arrange and then vertical up all right so this is going to be the before i'm gonna come down here and click the eye while holding on an alt so yeah so that's the before and after real quick so guys if you've enjoyed that editing process just give me a like or a thumbs up it's the same thing <laughs> just give me a like if you are not subscribed to my youtube channel subscribe right now and stay tuned for more videos also if you want to edit raw files you can go to my website well you can go to my instagram and click on the link right here and then it will take you to uh, my website you can click on raw files and you can download the raw files um, from my website there down here you will see images here that talks about downloaded images well do not upload to Instagram. The ones that says do not upload to Instagram, do not upload them to Instagram. You can upload them to the group though. So you can click on the giant group option right here and you can upload your image there. All right. So thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for another video next week. Bye-bye.